Um, well, I think, uh, yeah, definitely a loaded question. Um, I think it, it varied, you know, some guys we see all the time, so you don't quite see the big gains as much as, as others, but, you know, a guy like, uh, Oster Jelvik to me popped a little bit, but it's not a guy we see a lot, but, you know, the skill level, his, his creativity, um, you know, our, our second round pick to this year, Matthew Poitras, Standing out for me, just his his sense, his his willingness to play inside. Um, you know, Ryan Mast, uh, the way his body has changed, and he's moving so much smoother. His confidence with the puck, you know, that was a, a big move from from last season. I mean, those are three guys. Uh, you know, on the on the prospects side, and then you know, you, I, we've seen we've seen Johnny we've seen the the way he carries himself around here now is completely different you know he's he's got the leader mentality and you know he he looks like a pro so you know there's there's different levels of of what you're watching and what you're hoping for from guys but those were before for me that stuck out what do you think of Gabriel? Oh, Reese is a really good hockey player um you know he's got uh what I believe you need if you're going to play at that size. He's got a lot of courage. He's got a lot of willingness to get underneath guys. Um, his motor is nonstop. Um, you know, having uh, having Schmoltzy there at North Dakota, we we saw him a lot this year between Adam and I. And you know, a guy that we've we've liked from the from the college free agency pool for for a couple of years now. You know, he's he's just a good hockey player. So, you know, a guy will definitely track. And you know, when he's ready, I'm sure we'll be there. With an opportunity for him. Um, well, there's another one that you know I've been fortunate to see quite a bit. So, but his his frame, you know, he, he's filling out. You know, he's going from a from a boy to a man. He he carries himself just a little bit differently now. Uh, I think watching him during the season, and unfortunate for you guys, you weren't able to see him. It's just his poise with the puck, his his ability to create and make plays, and at six five or whatever he is to to, to move like he does is is, is pretty impressive. Um, I think the thing you'll get from all the staff around here and two on him is the way he carries himself in in the room. Like uh, everyone really enjoys him, and he's been uh, it's been great just having him here, even though he couldn't uh, couldn't skate, and he's progressing well and. According to medical staff, should be ahead of time, so it's a good thing. Time, <laughs> you know, I, I think, and uh, and a buy-in from him, you know, I, I think those type of players with with high-end skill that have relied on it to get where they are, when when they buy into just given a little bit of how you need to. Manage the game at times. Pick your spots. Um, then they—that's when they're going to get their best opportunity. And you know, we had them for just a short stretch in Providence, and some some highs and some lows. But you know, I, we'll we'll get them down there again this year, and he'll get a great opportunity to play with some top end players and an opportunity to, to keep growing with that. It's fine, uh, you know. Diaz is under contract there. He, um, we'll make a decision on him in the at some point this season, and if it's someone we sign or not, uh, he plays second line in the Liga. He gets plenty of opportunity. I don't know if we're going to be able to provide him much more than that at, at Providence level right now. Um, so it's a good, it's a hard league to play in. It's a it's a grinding league, and he's he's a good player in that league. So. We'll monitor him well this year and, and then make a decision part way through the year. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for both of them. You know, for for Ty, he's been around that uh, quite a bit playing for the, the national team. And for, for Riley, this is a, a little bit of a different thing. You know, it's a great opportunity for him to expand his horizons a little bit and see something a little different. He well earned. He had a good year. Like he really, really improved as the season went on. Um, became a 
more and more impactful player for them as, as they moved on and you know gets rewarded for that. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I think watching a July practice for goalies is an unfair exercise. I mean, who knows if they've even seen a shot yet? So, you know, I think the feedback from the staff they all they all worked hard. They're they're good kids. They have different uh, different attributes. I, I don't think that's an area where we're over evaluating in, uh, in July. What do you guys think about the goalies in camp? <laughs> <laughs>